welcome to this episode of the E4 Moto Trailer Build Series. Today we're going to be talking about our compressor situation. So I went ahead and got this compressor on Amazon. I'll put a link in the description. California Air Tools, super, super quiet uh, compressor. We have a splitter coming off of this so that we can run the blue coil for a quick hit project needs inside the trailer. If we're working on something in here, what have you, airing up tires, whatever we need to do. And then of course we have the green hose, which is to this reel that flips out. And then this has a 30 foot reach. So if we're working on something out in the parking lot or in the pit area outside of the trailer, uh, we can do that. Quick note, I went ahead and installed a disc here and a magnet there. So when you flip this shut, it locks against the wall and it's not swinging around all nilly willy while we're going down the road, uh, which is ideal. So I'll go ahead and flip the compressor on, let you hear it. This thing is super, super quiet. Really impressed with how quiet this thing, and it goes to full air in about 45 seconds. So I'm just talking in a normal voice now. I'm not talking loud because the compressor is running. As you can tell, it's not loud at all. Uh, you can also see how fast the pressure is building. Now, of course, the reason why it's building the pressure so fast is because it has a small tank, um, but it's really nice that it goes to a full full build of pressure in about 45 seconds. And again, it's super quiet, which is important because here inside the trailer, if we're running the compressor for any reason, I don't want this thing to be like that typical Craftsman air compressor that's ridiculously loud and blowing your eardrums up. And then we've got the typical regulator. I can also crack this open. and empty the air out of there and also empty out any condensation if we have buildup. Uh, and uh, again, you know, we can use this for any typical air needs. So light duty air tools, uh, blow guns, more cleaning stuff, uh, obviously tires, chucks, uh, things like that. So that's a little addition to the E4 Moto Trailer. Love having power on board, super handy, super convenient. Uh, definitely, definitely dig that. And I'm going to go ahead and flip it on real quick too and show the load that it puts on the inverter, just in case anyone's doing this themselves. You can see the load on the right hand side. So, as you can see, not a whole heck of a lot of load at all. It's just very, very effective. Very, very happy with it. It's simply hanging off of a few industrial uh, straps here into the E-Track, which of course is lag bolted into the studs. Then some pipe insulation to stop it from marring up the walls. And it simply hangs there. And uh, which is nice is that I can unclip this, unplug it, and just yard this out of the trailer if I have to for any particular reason. So super portable, super easy, super quiet, um, very reliable. Has not given me a lick of trouble. Uh, highly, highly recommended. So I'll put a link in the description uh, if anyone wants to get one themselves, um, but definitely I'm a fan. So E4, we out.